Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is going to be a live attack for you guys. Got a uh, 10 v 11 here. Um, I'm kind of in charge of 10 v 11 in One Hive Genesis, so I find myself doing a lot of them uh, recently. But I've been doing some 10 v 10 as well, so I'm kind of doing both right now. Um, this one's going to be another 10 v 11 for me. Going to use both my attacks pretty early in this war. So let's take a look at the base here. Draw up the plan and then I'll have a go at the attack. Basically for this one, um, I looked at it, I think it's a good queen walk you can do, and then based on that queen walk, I thought, you know what, dragons are a good pair. Uh, gonna go with a queen walk, dragon attack. Let's talk about how that's gonna work exactly. Going to start off with um, just a few troops to snipe stuff. Got a minion here, should get those two. Archer, uh, minion, minion, like that. Um, should get a little bit of percentage there, just sniping some buildings. And then I'm going to drop um, gonna drop my queen back here with five healers on her. And just let her walk this direction. She should step up for this kind of area of buildings uh, right as she turns the corner around that wall. And once that archer tower is being tanked, I'm gonna drop down uh, a giant. Actually what I'll do is, as soon as the archer tower is tanked, I'll drop a wizard. Then I'll let it get a few hits on that, then I'll drop a giant and another wizard. I want to get these two buildings down to help funnel the queen, just because she's so important I can't have her walk the wrong way. So I'm going to get that dark spell factory down with giant wizard combination there. Um, queen's going to walk, I'll have to rage her up around here. Now once she gets to right here she's going to have cannons, grand warden, and probably two expos on her, maybe one. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to use the ability instead of another rage, so I'm going to pop the ability right here because you don't want to have to rage and ability, and if she takes too much damage I might have to pop the ability even if she's under rage still. So because of that I'm going to just use the ability, get it out of the way, then save that rage for right about here if I need it, and I assume I will. So I'll need that second rage, just get her around the corner, once she's going here her job's done, she's just getting percentage and stuff. Um, the king and the CC both are not, their range extends like that, so they can't reach her. Um, so with that in mind, I'm basically just going to say, uh, okay, the queen will come around here, maybe she'll aggro that later, but as soon as she's done her job, um, she's cleared out this entire side of the base here, I'm going to start in with uh, my last giant, uh, whatever wizards I have left to take that out to help funnel my king, then I'm going to rage. Actually, I'll probably have to wall break pretty quickly. So I'll wall break right behind the giant. Then I will drop my king and a CC of bowlers. Going to rage them up right here. Now I'm bringing a wizard instead of my usual hog in the CC because the hog might lure the clan castle if it gets onto this air defense. I don't want the CC to come out. So going to go with bowlers, wizard, barb in my clan castle. They're going to come out, hopefully step up. They should get at least this air defense. I'm hoping they'll also walk this direction because there's nowhere else to go and they might even get this other air defense. That'd be a bonus. Not really needed though. Um, once the bowlers are going in, going to drop down, this is kind of a tricky part, but going to drop uh, a haste like right here um, just to move stuff quicker. Two test loons to try to get some traps and stuff uh, taken care of. Then behind those two test loons, my five dragons and two more loons going to rage and freeze. And that's pretty much it. Gonna try to freeze um, this inferno. I can reach the expo as well and the air sweeper. So all three of those defenses frozen uh, just for my dragons to take out the town hall while they're under that rage. Um, if it's a small CC, I have a poison for it. Hopefully it's not like a witch and a baby dragon and all that stuff because the witch spawns the skeletons which makes it difficult because the dragons have to chase around the skeletons. So I'm gonna do my best to poison the CC if it comes out. If it's a hound, it probably won't even come out unless the queen aggros it. But even if the queen does aggro it, it won't bother the dragons. So really, I have a poison if I need it for the CC. Let's hope I don't. Let's hope it's a lava hound. That's the plan. Um, a lot of talking, not that complicated to be honest. Let's go ahead and um, go into Clash of Clans, and this is base number three, Barbarian King, and we'll go ahead and give this a shot, just make sure I have all my troops here. Uh, that's the CC comp I want, got the four rages, 
two for the queen, one for the king bowlers, uh, one for the dragon, as well as the freeze for the dragon, that one haste and the poison also there in the dragon area. Um, got my three minions. I have a few extra archers. We'll see if I need those to, you know, draw away a lava hound or something. I don't know. That might happen. N always good to have an extra archer or two. I have three giants, four wizards, so kind of have an extra giant where I need it. We'll see um, how that goes. Four loons, two for the test, two for the main dragon push. Of course, the wall breakers to let in the king and the five healers. Everything looks great. Let's take a look at base number three one last time and let's attack this. Okay, base three here. So just so I know, we're gonna start off by sniping some stuff. We got archers, minions. There might be Teslas on these mortars, doesn't really matter. I'm not too worried about percentage. I, I never worry about percentage. It seems like the town hall is always the issue. Um, gonna drop the queen just on this mortar and she should tank that archer tower pretty quickly. I might even be able to drop her so she tanks it right away. Five healers, and then we're going to go ahead and go with the giant wizard. Giant wizard, okay. I think we're good. Um, I'm feeling good about this. Let's see how the queen does. No reason for her to beat on a wall. She can reach all of these defenses uh, going along here. So, um, barring any weird stuff, you know, I think this is a good plan. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll turn the music up for you guys to add to the suspense here. There we go. That should be good. And let's give this one a try here. Alright. Start off with the little stuff. The, uh, the minion. We'll start the minion over at 6 o'clock first. Actually, 6 o'clock doesn't really matter. The queen will get that anyway. See if a Tesla pops. Nope. Okay, got everything I wanted there. Let's start the queen now. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, wizard first. That way I get two wizards. Giant wizard. Oh, I forgot that archer tower is going to still be up. Oh, man. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Uh, let's just wall break in here. This would be quite an attack if I could save this. How do I miss my queen? Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. Well, uh, it's kind of panic mode, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, let's just try to clear some stuff out, maybe. Um, we'll, we'll give it a fair shot, you know? We'll give it a fair shot. Drop a dragon for the funnel. Yeah, it was a dragon CC, actually, so... You know, it might not have been successful anyway. Uh, let's just poison this dragon, I guess. Um... Yep, yeah, this one is unfortunate. <sighs> that moment when you miss the queen's ability. Well, um, sorry, I guess I'll scout for Teslas if nothing else. Couldn't even drop that haste. Disappointing live attack, I'm sure. Let's turn this down. Um... Yeah, you guys are probably expecting a little uh, more interesting content, but that's how it works sometimes. We'll take a look at the replay here. Um, yeah. It's too bad. Let's, uh, let's see here. For some reason, I just never took into account this archer tower. I don't know why. Even, just like, my brain shut it out. I was just focusing on... Because even when I was dropping these wizards, I just realized, like, wait, that archer tower is still up. Then I'm late on that rage because, as you saw, my screen was kind of up here, so I wasn't like in a good position to drop that rage. Should have been safe, or should have just use the ability. Uh, rookie mistake, not um, not using the rage quick enough, and then having your queen die. Um, 
Let's see, I popped the ability. Two rages probably still would have kept her up. I mean, she wouldn't uh, encounter that expo until she turns here. If I just popped the ability and didn't rage, even if I raged and popped the ability, I still would have had a good shot because the queen would have still gotten pretty far. She might have even been able to go all the way around just with the uh, that one extra rage. I could have used another rage and just not raged up the king and the bowlers. That would have been fine. I think this plan has merit. Um, and I think it can be cleaned up for a successful attack. Uh, but at that point, you know, it all goes down. The CC, you know, would have caused a little bit of trouble for my dragons going into the base here. But I think just if all of this was down, the dragons have one layer of buildings, then they're right at that town hall. They have the rage, they have the freeze, the sweeper's not going to be an issue, at least for five seconds under that freeze. I think this would have been successful. Um, yeah, I'll, maybe we'll have someone try to clean it up. And you guys might see that attack eventually, but a disappointing live attack. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna show it because it's just part of what happens. And uh, I'm just as disappointed as you guys are, probably more, because it was my attack. So sorry about that. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope hope you're happy that this video was a video because uh, I want to show you guys everything. Um, thanks for watching. You know what? I'm gonna show you guys my other attack. I just feel like this video is a scam now. Because this that wasn't even an attack. That was just a, a five minutes of planning, then just garbage. Uh, I'll at least show my other attack because my first run was successful. This base not a great base to be honest, but any Max Town Hall 11 has has some merit to it. So basically, just dropping down all these minions here. A test archer. I thought there'd be a test of between these two buildings. Just in my experience, there wasn't. It's a fresh hit, so gotta. Just gotta know ahead of time before I drop those loons in. Dropped in some loons, some minions behind. There's actually a good lesson you guys can learn from this attack. You'll see in just a moment here. Um, drop down more loons at the bottom here. Went ahead and dropped my last one in there because I saw a seeking ear mine pop up. Just wanted to be safe, so got that taken out. Archer tower goes down. More minions behind. This is all for percentage. Also trying to get a little bit of a funnel going up here uh, with a baby dragon as well later on. So just letting those minions do their work. And then right here, going to go in for the CC lure and also create part of a funnel down here. Get that there. Okay. Uh, also create part of a funnel. So uh, just a moment here. Fast forward. Golem goes down. Bowlers to second bounce that archer tower. Uh, easy way to get it taken out while it's being tanked. And then more bowlers uh, just behind. Rage them up. Might as well wall break in, let those raged bowlers do some work on these buildings. Uh, that hog wasn't necessary, the CC was already coming out. That's five troop space that's gonna go towards lighting up the eagle, which is something I want to avoid during the CC kill. Also this baby dragon, shouldn't have done that either. 15 troop space that wasn't needed. I could have dropped the baby dragon after the hound was dead, and I could have dropped, I could have just saved the hog because the CC was already coming out. I kind of just threw it in for good measure. But you'll notice right here the CC lights up, or not the CC, the eagle lights up because that one baby dragon just tipped the threshold above the 180 that it needs to light up. So boom, it's the eagle's lighting up. I went ahead and did a heads up play here, dropping down the bull or to try to tank that Lava Hound. The Loon actually up here doesn't go towards the Bowler, but the Hound for some reason does. And check this out, that one Giant actually helped me out because it kind of tanked the Bowler. Now for some reason the Bowler gets stuck on a wall here, which doesn't make any sense, but I think credit to the Giant surprise there. Um, went ahead and just sent in my Golem, Heroes, Bowler, the typical kill squad, Jump, Rage, Heal, Freeze, uh, all the typical spells. Got my Queen on the Town Hall. Hit the ability, that's 50%, that's the Town Hall 2 star. But if that Hound was sitting there, the Queen would not get that Town Hall. This would not have been a successful attack. So got lucky, thanks to the Giant Surprise for that one, because it did some kind of weird AI to my bowler, making it target the wall, making the Lava Hound get stuck on it. While I was doing this attack, I was thinking, where'd that Lava Hound go? Um, anyway, that was my other attack, just wanted to get my mind off this one. Uh, you know what, why not? This is becoming a some kind of weird live on war day video but let's take a look at other attacks um just to kind of have some fun here um because the first attack wasn't wasn't much to see want to make sure you guys still get a good video for today uh let's see how this one's going i haven't done a live on war day video i want to do that more but i've been busy doing live attacks and also the live ending to our cwl wars 
which we'll probably have another one, uh, another one of those videos coming up for the next war in a few days here. So anyway, uh, looking pretty good. The queen's back, so she's away from the hound. A little bit short on hogs, arguably, but not many defenses. There is that one double cannon, but a nice poison on those skellies. A uh, giant bomb hits those hogs here. That one double cannon is just brutal. It takes out a hog in about two different shots, and that's that that hurts for sure. Right here, the lava hound's going to explode. The queen should take out those pups before it does too much damage. I think she'll get those pups, but there's just not much left besides that. Um, so I guess we're kind of trolling sub here by hopping in on a live attack. Maybe he'll see this video, maybe he won't. Uh, but that is it. Not going to be a successful attack. Just no time and no troops left up. So nice try to sub. Didn't see the full thing. I guess we should end the video now. Um, yeah, that's still his attack. Uh, one Hive Invicta should be a good war. We're not good at midweek wars. You guys have seen that. But um, you know what? We have great attackers. And I think we might be able to pull it off. We'll see. Uh, you guys will see as well. Thank you for watching, though. This is the end of the video, finally. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.